I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Eivor. Dag, Basim has brought word of Sigurd's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No, I am needed here. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your Jarl? A fine way of putting it, Wolf Kissed. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. Did not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding? That is my point. So you hold no... What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes. For without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists, because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I'm too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hawkbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. What happened in Mercia still puzzles me. Fulke saw something in Sigurd. A power, a legacy. What is it she wants? Her motives are difficult to fathom, but that can come later. Let's find your brother first. Agreed. If we do this, you'll earn the right to call me friend ten thousandfold. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry us. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Cunibert. Full of pious fire. 
but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Kinnebert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basil? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special. In is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Why not kill him in secret and petition Alfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the king's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstern has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there. When the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you at Falkenstein. Salt Skulls, got a story? When I was 11 oh, weeks old, I was the youngest of my favorite cousins. 
wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls. Together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halfdan the Black of the House of Ingling. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake hey, flatbread and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, old dog was gone. Alfred's emissary spent a few days here. Someone may know where he went. You tried to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the king's business. No, bugger off here, eh? or I'll call the guards. I'm sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. Maybe some coin will lose your lips. A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. Student. Hold. You there. You alive. <laughs> I had horse. Plodity plod plod. <laughs> Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. Who I am is no concern of yours. And I do not care. Did you want something, or did you just wake me to torment me? You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale-addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, Weaver of the Obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. Dover Fortress on the southeast coast.
serving. Did she speak to you at the betrayal speech? Spirit. Shh. It is ever said to even think of it. Forget your words. Think of Christ and his redemptive message. She spoke. Do you see, Sunim? If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. business. Guards! Ah! Alfred's chosen elderman is a thane called Tetland. The abbot Cunebert will want to know. I should meet Basim and the abbot in Falkenstone. 